Hi everybody, I'm Nancy Grace and taking your questions on the Geelan Maxwell investigation and prosecution. First of all, I want to thank you for caring about justice and caring about the girl victims at the hands allegedly of Jeffrey Epstein and his hench person, Geelan Maxwell. Here are some of your questions. Hi Nancy, my question is, is this investigation really going to go anywhere? Are any of these people going to be held accountable? I have honestly lost faith in the system. Diana, I feel the same way. Sometimes uh, when I see the wealthy or famous being treated differently than the rest of uh, the Americans, I feel very disappointed. I feel like it's a kick in the teeth having been part of the system my whole legal career. Gillen Maxwell and Jeffrey Epstein long escaped justice. In Florida, Epstein got a slap on the wrist and a ridiculous immunity agreement for not only himself, but other people involved in the conspiracy to rape little girls. That's what it boils down to. That agreement at first was believed to protect Gillen Maxwell, but that's not true. Florida prosecutors cannot enter into an agreement binding New York prosecutors of what they can and cannot do. So that's not going to work. Gillen Maxwell can be prosecuted. Why hasn't it already happened? Because she's wealthy and educated. On the other hand, having been a Fed for three years before I became a felony prosecutor, the Feds cross every T and dot every I. They will have rooms full of boxes of documents and evidence for one prosecution. I know this because I did it myself. So I imagine it's taking a long time to amass all the evidence that they want for a case against Gill and Maxwell. In my mind, all it's going to take is a couple of those little girl victims now grown to testify. Um, how has she escaped? I don't know that she did. I think it's very likely the feds knew all along where Gillen Maxwell was hiding out. I do think Gillen Maxwell will do jail time. I think there will be justice. Justice delayed, but not denied, Diana. Matthew Ricker, what kind of deal do you think Gillen Maxwell is making with the feds? Okay, let's start with will she make a deal? I think she will. For somebody as rich as Gill and Maxwell, used to living in mansions, on yachts, jet setting with Clinton and Trump and Prince Andrew and others, <laughs> she is not going to want to stay behind bars one day longer than she has to. She will cut a deal. Um, also, she doesn't want to get in trial because all of this horrible evidence against her is going to come out. I predict looking at somewhere between 30 and 35 years, she'll cut a deal for something like 10 to 15, maybe 20, in exchange for information on who fraternized with Epstein, who else can be prosecuted. You gotta kill the snake at the head. You gotta cut the head off. Epstein was the head. He's dead. So who else is involved? They're wanna, the feds are going to want to know every tentacle of this evil beast. If she can provide that, she'll probably get somewhere between 10 and 15 years. If she will not, she's looking at 30 or 35. She'll never see the light of day again. Hello, my name is Connor Waller. I'm currently a high school student. My question is, how do we guarantee that Ghislaine Maxwell will give up her knowledge in regards to the Jeffrey Epstein case while still achieving the appropriate justice for those who suffered at the hands of both Jeffrey Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell, many of whom were my age. Let me tell you something, Connor. Congratulations to you, because you're clearly a bright student and you care about what's happening in the world. A lot of people don't even know who the president is, much less what's happening in the Ghislaine Maxwell case. So, Connor, I think, and sadly, because this case is so public and there have been so many miscarriages of justice, the slap on the wrist that Epstein got in Florida where he could basically continue to molest little girls. 
while he was in jail. The years that have passed while these two live in luxury until Epstein's finally arrested. The fact that she, Maxwell, has been on the lamp for so long. All of that stinks, right? And it doesn't just stink. We, the public, know about it. I predict because this case is so high profile, the feds are not going to let her off with another light sentence. Have they done it in the past? Yes. And it was wrong. That's what happened down in Florida. We don't want that to happen again. And because you care, and I care, and everybody else cares and wants justice, they're not going to get away with sweeping this under the rug again the way they did in Florida. So, yes, she'll do jail time. I predict she will cooperate, name names, give information, and get a lesser deal, but she will do jail time. Next, Arlene Bell. Her question, why does no one mention Bill Clinton's trips to Lolita Island? Well, apparently it has been mentioned because you know about it and I know about it. And if you pull up uh, Epstein or Gillen Maxwell and put in the name Clinton in there, it comes up. So we do know about it. Did Clinton do anything wrong? That's the question. We know he took the trips to Lolita, Lolita Island. Uh, I think it's Orgy Island on the Lolita Express was the nickname for the plane, Arlene. So we all know Clinton was there. We also know he partied with Trump. We also know he had visits from B a visit from Bill Gates. We also know he hung out with Prince Andrew. <laughs> well, what we don't know is if a crime was committed. I, like you, would love to know the answer to that. And maybe Gillen Maxwell has that answer. That's why she's got to be handled with kid gloves. She has to be mined like a vein of gold in the deepest and darkest cavern. We have to be very careful with Gillen Maxwell because she's not going to want to give up rich, powerful people like Prince Andrew. So she has to be handled very carefully and the threat of 30 to 35 years hanging over her head at every turn. That's the only way we'll ever find out about whether wealthy and powerful individuals actually did wrong, wrongdoing. Just hanging out or going to an island or partying, that, that's not a crime. You have to prove it. And that's where Gillen Maxwell fits in. Hi, my name is Tina Randall. I'd like to know how Jeffrey Epstein and Miss Maxwell met and how, how they started their partnership. Well, I happen to know that. Uh, a British socialite introduced Gillen Maxwell to Jeffrey Epstein in a casual way. Epstein wanted in to British society and Gillen Maxwell wanted in in New York. The two used each other. I believe Gillen Maxwell may have fallen in love with Epstein, but according to sources, she, Maxwell, broke up with Epstein when he would not marry her, but their association continued. Did she think she could win him back? Oh, what a prize he'd be. <laughs> not. But uh, maybe, maybe she wanted him back. But she dated other people after Epstein. But her relationship with Epstein lived on in a very sick and twisted way, apparently. But that's how they met. They were introduced. Like, I don't know if it was a blind date per se, but they were introduced by a mutual friend. Tony Miller. I would like to know, since Gillen Maxwell knows the outcome of Epstein in prison, why hasn't she already released evidence that she has? Wouldn't that be much safer for her going forward? That's a really good point, Tony Miller. I doubt at this juncture that Gillen Maxwell has told even half of what she knows, if that much. So far, there's been no reason or no opportunity for her to tell uh, because she was arrested. She tried to evade arrest. She's been taken in. She had to go to jail. 
nothing would do except her being in jail like every other child molester. She has to meet not with the law enforcement that arrested her. Think of them like police. She has to meet with prosecutors, with lawyers, with her lawyers in attendance to hammer out what she will and will not tell. But I can tell you this much, Tony Miller, the feds have the power because they got a 30-year 30, 30 sentence hanging over her head. I predict as soon as a deal can be hammered out, and you can't hammer out a deal until you know what evidence she has to offer, things will change. Her status will change. I predict she's going to get a lot of hard jail time, even if she does cooperate. My question is, with Epstein dead and not able to testify against Ghislaine, like, is she really going to have her day in court and be sent to jail for all the horrible things that she's done? I feel that she was very involved with him. Witnesses um, can testify to that. So I just hope that uh, with him not able to testify, that she's still going to be found guilty to the highest degree. So that's my question is, um, do you think that she will be found guilty with him passed away, not able to testify against her? Well, in answer to your question, Karen Reed, I don't think Epstein was ever going to be asked to testify against Gillen Maxwell. I think Gillen Maxwell was going to be asked to testify against Epstein. He's the kingpin. She's the player. Um, they don't need Epstein. I, I hear you. It would be wonderful if Epstein were still alive and could rat out Gillen Maxwell and she could rat him out and we could all go home. It's not like that. Um, Gill and Maxwell would have been the key witness against Epstein, not vice versa. However, the victims named in the six count indictment mm, have personal dealings, according to them, with Gill and Maxwell. She arranged transportation for them for the purposes of sex across state lines. She groomed, cultivated, and ultimately abused them according to the indictment. So Epstein, Schmepstein, we have the alleged victims plus reams, reams, thousands of documents of evidence, which I imagine are going to be letters, emails, text, phone data, placing her at the location where these girls say she was with them, uh, credit card receipts, uh, surveillance video, video from Epstein's home that Gill and Maxwell may be in. There's a lot of evidence to convict Gill and Maxwell without Epstein. Linda Meiske, why isn't anything being done? Why are people dragging their feet on this? Well, something is being done. Maxwell's finally behind bars. But I agree with you. Why did it take all these years to prosecute Epstein. You know why? He didn't get hauled to jail in New York and she didn't get arrested until the public stink got so overwhelming the feds couldn't face a TV camera with a straight face. They had to do something. So she's finally arrested. Sad comment, but true. I mean, the feds have known about these victims forever. Why didn't they do anything? Only when it became so obvious that an injustice was occurring did they act. I don't like that. I have been a Fed. I've been a prosecutor my whole legal career. I don't like that, but it's obvious that's what happened. Judy Carpenter, where were the parents of all these underage girls? Judy, I have asked that question a million times. You know what? H-E-L-L -L would freeze over before I would let my daughter or son go away with Epstein and Maxwell to another state. For what? It's not a sleepover down the street with a little fifth grade friend. <laughs> no. So, I know this. I know that many, if not all, of these young girls were underprivileged in the sense that they were poor. Uh, very often in a single parent home, a mom, they were desperate for money. They were desperate to 
get any opportunity they could and that Maxwell preyed on them. I don't know if the girls lied to the moms to get away. I don't know if Gil and Maxwell wooed the mother as well. But I know that, you know, like in the Michael Jackson case, the parents were brainwashed to believe it was all okay. Not okay. So either the parents were physically not around or they were lulled into a false sense of security about being with Gil and Maxwell, like in Weinstein. Weinstein would have a woman fixer to fix an opportunity for him to rape or sex assault young actresses. That's how it worked. That's what Epstein did. He would use Maxwell, a female mother or sister figure, to lull these young girls and possibly their families into a false sense of, of security so he could molest them. So either the parents weren't there they were so uneducated they didn't understand what was happening or they were lied to. There's a host of reasons that all of these facts fell together and the girls were molested. And yes, deep down inside, I think the parents were negligent. Well, not that deep, really, to let their children just go away with someone they hardly knew. But... I don't know if the parent, the moms, knew what was happening. So that is yet to be determined, but I've asked the very same question. The one person in the world that should protect you the most is your mother or your father. So where were they? Guys, thank you for caring. The day that we stop caring about our system as much as it may infuriate us, and as much as there may be failings within the system, the day we stop caring is the day we all go to hell in a, in a bread basket. Thank you.